It hasn't even been a month yet. God damn it. <laughs> a bit of time ago, I was unfortunate to watch a specific video that was making the rounds on Twitter. This video is cursed, and I'm sure pretty much every one of you watching has seen it. It is the animation that was produced by someone or a group of people that Verbal Ace paid around $50,000 to make. A video in which he is getting SA'd by the character Charlie from Hasbin Hotel. <laughs> Isn't she a lesbian? Not only that, someone is currently going around blocking the uploads on behalf of Create Network. So people have largely seen it on Twitter posts that have garnered nearly 10 million views. Now, when I saw this, I couldn't possibly believe it. I mean, really? $50,000 thrown at self-indulgence at this scale? It's almost respectable in an insane way. If I had $50,000 to nuke, I mean, no problem, who cares at that point? You can do whatever the hell you want. I, of course, wanted to make a video about the subject due, due to its hilarious nature and also for the sake of documentation. Now, to how this video got out in the first place, this user, Start of Luck, claims, quote, Verbal Ace had it publicized in 2022 on an alternate channel called Chase. He talked about it for a little bit in his server in 2023, claiming that a Charlie from Has Been Hotel animation existed, and it wasn't long before me and a group of friends found it. This channel, Chase, did exist at one point in 2022, with a description thanking Cough Animation Studios for helping to complete the project. This actually was started in 2021 by a company called Cough or something, and it was finished in 2022. So Verbal Ace could have just kept it to himself, and no one would have known. People make private NSFW commissions on the internet all the time, and artists will typically respect that. But he decided to think it was a great idea to throw it out there. I'll go ahead and say my piece for this though. If you're into NSFW content, either keep it to yourself or just embrace it. Don't do this weird middle ground where you reference it among groups of people, especially uh, <laughs> mostly minors, but we'll get to that, because at this point you are begging for people to find it. Regardless, conversations would surface of him discussing the video's production in late 2021. Reading. Well, here's a huge leak. I've been working on a side project, but it is not kid-friendly so I can't release it online. But I've spent 47000 on it. Professional industry animation, like Disney animators. I can describe it. Basically, the song is a love song about a girl obsessed with a guy, and she's basically telling him to hide or he'll lose when she finds him. So I thought it was like a love story, naturally. But when I looked up the video instead, they decided to make it where a girl is making out with a guy. The guy was getting overwhelmed and left, but the girls still feel like making out, so she literally makes out with every single person in the bar. Every single person! There was a teenager kid in there. There was an old lady and an old man. It was really disturbing. Yeah, and about that professional animation he mentioned. Much of the frames in this animation are literally traced from the Hasbin pilot and other works. Thanks to some insightful eyes in the Hasbin community, thank you Bestie Zealot, he was able to find many frames such as this, this, and this, and this, and of course, old artwork of Charlie being used for frames like this. It's not 100% traced, but a bunch of it is just tracing like of the hand or the face or maybe the torso, and then just working with the rest of it from there. It's just really fucking weird. Regardless, a bunch of this work is still traced. So let's get this straight. You spent around $50,000 on this animation and multiple frames were traced? I cannot believe this dude spent that much money on softcore porn that goes nowhere. Where is the fucking? With that amount of money, he could have gone out and get the real deal for cheaper with a Charlie cosplayer. Yeah, it's uh, interesting, isn't it? So, because of all this, I decided to reach out to Start of Luck to get a little bit more context. It was alleged that Verbal Ace collaborated with a 15-year-old on this project, which isn't true. What is true is that work-in-progress screenshots of the video were shared in a chat that had kids as young as 14 from what Start of Luck shared with me. Yeah, uh, you heard that right. Sharing screenshots of a video like this around a server of minors is, uh... Yeah. Big disclaimer, this is not me insinuating that Verbal Ace is a predator. From what I've been shown by people who were there, it seems like negligence at worst. 
Don't go out there and peddle the false rumors of getting 15 year old animators. I'm just reiterating what Start of Luck informed me about. Because of this, it was only a matter of time before it got to Start of Luck and a few others. The video started to make rounds in late 2023, and Verbal Ace alongside his staff tried very hard to keep it under wraps. Most of you are aware by now of a certain music video regarding Ace that has recently serviced in the server. If you know, you know. Otherwise, we will not be tolerating the spreading of this video or harassment of Ace about it. Keep in mind, this server is full of mostly children. EVEN THOUGH ACE TOLD CHILDREN! And posting clips or references to the video is unnecessary and will not be tolerated. Keep in mind of rule tool in hashtag rules and understand we will be enforcing this rule more thoroughly. From this point on, there shall be no references or clips regarding the video. Otherwise, this will result in a mute or worse, ban. Yeah, they were desperate to keep this under the table. Seems to have worked out pretty well. It's what you get for appealing to a child audience and literally using the same design of you in the cartoon rap battle show in the animation. Yeah, Verbal Ace isn't doing so hot right now. Pretty much everyone knows about what happened and are still trying to make sense of why does this video exist? But it's pretty simple to understand why. If someone had the money to frivolously blow on content like this to make their fantasies a reality, they're going to do it. This is fetish material. And it's nothing new for Verbal Ace's channel anyways, because if you go back to certain episodes of Cartoon Beatbox Battles, you can see the exact same fetish material there. This isn't me saying you as an adult can indulge in yourself. What I am going to say is that people have the ability to exercise restraint. ESPECIALLY WITH A CHILD AUDIENCE! There's also some additional backstory concerning how Verbal Ace has treated other people pretty poorly. I would suggest going to this video on screen by Ali if you want to learn more about that. Links in the description. Here's what I will say to close it off though. You have two options on the internet when it comes to being into certain things. Either A, keep it to yourself, or B, just be open about it and don't care what anybody else has to say. You can't do the middle ground of sharing it with a bunch of people you don't know and still try to keep it a secret. Just be open about it, as long as you're doing that with other adults, no one really cares. But at the same time, spending $50,000 on soft porn when your own well-liked series has been struggling to the point where you ask for help? Yeah, that's pretty dodgy. Sharing work in progress content around a server full of minors is pretty dodgy. Being homophobic and transphobic while simultaneously shipping yourself with a LGBT character is just ironic. Anyhow, if this is how the year starts, I don't want to think about the rest. It, it hasn't even been a fucking month yet. Okay, look, I, I recorded all of this about a week ago, so he actually did respond and it really wasn't much, uh, I, at least in my opinion. Apologies for my dead voice. However, I was also given a lot of uh, screenshots of Verbal Ace being very um, weird with a specific person who has already been talked about publicly by Ali, a person by the name of Hydro. Verbal Ace in these chats would have very weird conversations about uh, looting Hydro's character, again, a person who is a minor, and there's this artist that was drawing some very weird shit of this miner's character. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is some weird shit. 